Hello friends, this video on environment chemistry part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's understand greenhouse effect now. Have you ever wandered your car park outside in the summer season? It gets hot. And suppose you have parked your car outside and you went for some movie or you went out for shopping. When you come, you see that your car is very hot. Right? Almost like pressure cooker. Have you ever thought why, why your car becomes so hot? The reason is greenhouse effect. And I'll tell you why this greenhouse word came. Why it is called greenhouse effect. See, when your car is outside, right, the sun light which you get, the red one is my visible light, right? This is my visible light from the sun. Correct. And my light which or the rays which is radiated back right by this articles in, or by seeds or stirring inside the car are my infrared. This is what happened. And this is the actual cause of greenhouse effect. So there is a difference. Sun is throwing visible light, right? But what is coming out of this seed or stirring is my infrared. So any object when you when a visible light falls, it generally gets infrared, right? That, that's what it's affected by. Now this is a catch. The catch is the glass will allow visible light to pass through, but will not allow infrared to pass through. If you see that's all. The infrared light is not trapped. The red one, the visible light, was able to pass through the glass, but the one that is reflected in the seat is my infrared light, infrared rays, you can say, and this is something which will not be able to cross the glass, right? Same thing. So if you have a glass and you put some something in any object now, right? Now sunlight will give again visible light, but when this light falls on this object, what it gives is my infrared light, the green ones. And these light will not be able to pass through the glass and will keep on moving in the glass, right? And this, after some time, this glass jar will become very hot. Why? Because this glass allows visible light to pass, but it doesn't allow infrared to pass. And why? It is the same thing. We have explained that. So maybe this infrared is my green one. So I have a net. Net is my glass here. So glass will allow and to pass. And is my visible light here. And cat is my infrared. Why? Because both these light have different wavelength, right? So visible light has lesser, smaller wavelength. So visible light will be able to pass through. But this cat will have a bigger wavelength, so it will not be able to pass through. I'll show you. So if you see here, my visible light has the wavelength in this range, 0.5 and 10 to the power minus 6, very small. But if you see, the infrared has a bigger wavelength. My microwave has all the more bigger wavelength, the radio has all the more bigger wavelength. And that's why you don't get good radio signals when you are in a big building which is covered, right? So. That's how it is. Infrared has a higher wavelength and that's why infrared will not be able to pass through the glass. So thus if you see, my infrared will not be able to cross the glass, right? And it will be trapped in the glass, but my visible rays will be able to cross the glass. And this is how, this is the greenhouse effect because one has, the infrared has a higher wavelength that will not be able to cross the glass, right? But my visible light has a smaller wavelength and we'll be able to cross the class. So if you don't understand the concept, please watch the video optics short trend physics where we explain this concept in little detail with more examples. Let's understand the greenhouse effect and let's understand why this greenhouse word came. So in the cold place, in the cold place, place where you have cold weather, so there if you want to you know, cultivate flowers and vegetables and fruits, so you need high temperature, a little bit good amount of temperature for that, but since it's cold, right? You want to increase the temperature. So one way is you have all this uh, heaters, 
that will take electricity that will consume electricity and cause pollution also the other natural way is use the glass house and that's the glass will allow the red light to pass but the green lights that is the infrared which is uh, generated back when it reflects from uh, the vegetables and the plants inside this will be infrared it will not be passed so the infrared will be trapped inside this glass house and the whole glass house will be hot correct and with that you can cultivate uh, fruits, vegetables, and this is only used in cold places. And this was an old technique that was used long time back, right? And that's why you, we call greenhouse effect because this effect was used for green vegetables, fruits, and flowers. Correct. So in this case, if you see a visible light passes through the glass because the glass is transparent to the visible glass, visible light because it has smaller wavelength, but the Radiated light back is my infrared, which is a higher wavelength, and the glass is not transparent. Right? Won't be able the infrared won't be able to cross this glass. Right? Overall, this whole thing inside becomes warmer. Correct? As I told, since the glass is opaque, that means it is not transparent to infrared. There is a heat that is radiated. It will not allow heat to go off. And with this mechanism, this house, the glass house, will be hot. And this mechanism we use to cultivate vegetable, fruits, and flowers in the cold region. And that's how the name greenhouse came. Correct. Similarly, carbon dioxide also acts as a glass, and it traps the heat because they are transparent to sunlight but not to heat radiation. So if the carbon dioxide uh, proportion crosses 0.03%, they will imbalance the natural balance actually, right? So the heat or the temperature of the earth will increase because the carbon dioxide itself acts as a glass here. I'll show you how in the next slide, how the carbon dioxide acts as a glass in this. This is my earth, this is my troposphere, this is my stratosphere. I told carbon dioxide is only in this troposphere right so my earth this is my sun rays almost 25 percent is reflected back here only by the ozone ozone layer whatever goes or whatever reaches this earth now it is reflected back the reflected one is my infrared since it is infrared right my particles won't allow this troposphere won't allow infrared to cross correct because these gases co2 and all will also act as glass here this will be they'll act as a glass they'll act as a glass and will cover the whole thing they'll absorb the heat actually they'll not allow this heat to go correct so if you see about 75 percent of the solar energy reaches the earth and this increase the temperature. The rest is radiated back. If you see how it was, this is my carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide also will absorb the incoming light. This is my normal visible light from sun, and will absorb this visible light and convert to infrared. They'll also do this part also. So with this also, what happens is, see here. So let's suppose I had uh, this is 25%, this is 75%. 75% was coming here and was expected to bounce back. But before that only, my carbon dioxide will trap it. For example, this visible light will come, carbon dioxide will make it to infrared and will trap the heat. Correct? So with that also the temperature increase. So two effects. One is they will not allow the infrared to pass. The second one is they will also convert visible light to infrared. So in both the cases, they will increase the temperature of the earth. Correct. So as a whole, because of increase in carbon dioxide, although it is a very small amount, 0.03%, the temperature of the earth will increase because carbon dioxide is generally in this troposphere. And this is my carbon dioxide. Correct. First thing, it will convert visible light also to infrared and also it will absorb the infrared. It is opaque to my infrared. 
and this is called greenhouse effect, the natural greenhouse effect, and this causes global warming. You know, with global warming, what happens? The polar ice melts, and the coastal area gets submerged in water, and a lot of problems. Right? The the overall temperature of the earth increases. There are other greenhouse gases also apart from carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide is the major one. The other are the methane, water vapor, nitrous oxide, CFC, chlorofluorocarbon, ozone. These are my other greenhouse effects. These gases also contribute to greenhouse effect. Right? We talk about methane. So methane is generally uh, is produced naturally when you burn the vegetation or you have uh, this garbage, fossil fuels you burn from coal mines, from paddy fields, all this garbage you get methane. They are produced naturally. CFCs, you know, they are used in um, air conditioners and fridges and they also cause for depletion of ozone layer. We'll talk about these in the next few slides. And then we have nitrous oxides. This nitrous oxide, because of increased use of fertilizers in the soils and also the burning of fossil fuels, you are getting nitrous. We, we have discussed this in the past few slides. Actually. So the question is, there's so many greenhouse gases, the temperature is increasing. What is the future, right? So the greenhouse gases concentration is increasing day by day. The temperature of the earth as a whole is increasing. And with that, the polar ice caps melting and they are flooding the low lying areas. And if you see the, the coastal areas, for example, these guys, right? They are inside water. Dwarka is a place in India, which is now in water because of this, right? The sea level has, has increased. Also, increase in the global temperature uh, causes a lot of disease, for example, dengue, malaria, yellow fever, sleeping sickness, all these diseases are also cause of increase in temperature of the earth. Right? So how to reduce this global warming? The first one, avoid use of automobiles. If possible, don't even use your personal car. Use bicycle instead because it is eco-friendly. If required, if you have to cover more distance, use public transport because there you will end up burning less fuel. Or if you don't want public transport, or the public transport is not available in your area, go for car too. At least four people in the car, you are burning less fuel, right? Plant more trees. More trees you plant, the trees convert, takes carbon dioxide as the input and gives oxygen as the output, right? So, carbon. Uh, Tree is a sink for carbon dioxide. Plant more trees, will have less carbon dioxide. Avoid burning of dry leaves. Don't burn leaves, don't burn woods because they emit carbon dioxide. Correct? So don't do this. Don't smoke. It gives carbon dioxide, it gives carbon monoxide and both are harmful. Carbon dioxide is more harmful to the earth, carbon monoxide is harmful to you. So if you do all these things, the good citizen, you help in reducing the temperature of the earth and controlling the global warming. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.